I saw this picture of Doug Ducey, and he was in his Thunderbird attire, and I didn't know at the time he was a Thunderbird. I'm like, what in medieval Christ is going on here? Yeah, it was like doing some hatchet throwing. You get yourself a turkey leg, Governor. I'm Arizona Family political editor Dennis Welch. Dennis, fake news Welch. Try to tell the truth. And this is the Politics Unplugged podcast. Dennis, if you have a problem with substance abuse, I am more than willing to talk to you anytime you need. Welcome back to another edition of the Politics Unplugged podcast edition. Today, I'm really honored and, and really happy to introduce him here with Senator Juan Mendez. He's a state senator representing um, a district that encompasses a lot of Tempe um, I- over in the East Valley. And, you know, uh, he's make it, made some news or was part of something that made some news this week. He was on the committee in the Senate this week that voted and moved forward a bill um, – I don't know what it's called the respect bill, uh, the, the, the anti Satan bill or something. It would outlaw any displays of Satan on public buildings or on public property. It passed with near unanimous support. The only no vote on that, I believe is with the Senator that I'm sitting with right now. Again, Juan Mendez, thank you for joining us here today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Thanks for having me. I, I, I love, uh, you know, podcasts. I love listening to, to this podcast. Well, all the Arizona news podcasts, but, mm-hmm. you know, I uh, it's an honor to be on. And, you know, it definitely, it, the, the news was, you know, the story happened to me. I definitely mm-hmm. didn't go out there to, mm-hmm. to do anything. But, you know, it's uh, it's really telling of, of this session. You know, I mean, they either got to be extremely bored mm-hmm. or, you know, re- really just reaching mm-hmm. for, for, for headlines. Yeah. And 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 then this really tells. And, so. and and give us a broad explanation of what how you understand this bill, what it what it does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, so it's a, it, it's it's a little simple, and and at the same time, it's in response to nothing going on in Arizona. Uh, a, a solution uh, in search of a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, but it's the idea that uh, that the Senator Hoffman believes that he has the ability to decide what is respectable and not respectable in terms of of religion Mm -hmm. in in the eyes of the government Mm -hmm. and so he is saying that the government that he's decided will not acknowledge satanism as as a religion and therefore going forward will not allow any uh emblems imagery or you know uh art Mm -hmm. anything on government property inside <laughs> anywhere that has to do with government property uh, I mean it's totally not I, I, I'm, I'm afraid he put more thought into the name and fitting it into that acronym mm-hmm. than he actually did you know whether or not it works with the Constitution or you know everybody's understanding of how we treat religion in in general yeah uh, and he believes it's not Satanism is not he believes it's not a, a religion the IRS sure does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they actually got status. They yeah. went through the you know all the, the process and they're acknowledged at, at you know uh, I forget what state they they started it in. But uh, the scary part is it's not up to us. It's not up to Senator Hoffman or the government mm-hmm. to decide what is or isn't a, a religion. Like you don't want us doing that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't know if he is you know so there is this you know they. they Oh, are very open about you know that they love testing the courts and they want to throw you know obviously bad pieces of legislation unconstitutional mm-hmm. legislation hoping they get uh you know the court that'll listen to them that'll entertain their crazy ideas and you know they're looking to make some kind of uh change somewhere at, at some level mm-hmm. uh and and you know they they're hoping that if they pick a, a small enough group Everybody else, you know, is easy to stigmatize, hmm. uh, you know, that they can make some kind of changes. And, and this is dangerous. I mean, we can't always, you know, I joked at the beginning that they're, they're just bored and, and running out of things to do. And then that sometimes is, is what it looks like. But, I mean, they, it may not look like it, but they're smarter than, than we give them credit for. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, it, you know, a lot of people joke, myself included, like, if this bill passed, like, you know, Dr. Crover, the issue going to have to take down all images of Sparky, you, you know, and like, look, to be clear, uh, 
whether it, pa- whether it passed the legislature or not, a big question. But if it got up to the ninth floor, I don't see Katie Hobbs signing this piece <laughs> of legislation into law. But if you know, I think it's an example. Like going to your point, the session. You know, you think that that maybe that they're focusing on some things that you think just a complete waste of time, like something like this. Yeah, uh, I mean, and there's so many other op- uh, I mean, bills like this where you know the, the, this would just blend in and just look like regular crazy i mean i i go to work every day with that imagery of i mean who was it like um uh john stewart or mm-hmm. john john oliver or so one of those guys called us the meth lab of democracy mm-hmm. you know like right as i was starting and you know every year he they're not proving them wrong uh and and it is you know sometimes these things get are easy to dismiss as crazy mm-hmm. uh but they hide there, 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 there's real motives, there's real attempts, they're really chipping away slowly at either your patience or, you know, at the actual Constitution. So what, what, what's your Republican colleague saying, like, you know, in general, uh, you know, when the, the, the they're not in, in, in public, what they're saying afterwards, are they really serious about this? I mean, because I think anybody listening, like, be, be real honest, like, you know, I, I've been in a lot of government buildings, I don't see images of Satan. Um, or satanic images uh, there. I know that Satanists is, is kind of a troll, um, you know, because most Satanists are look mo- mostly kind of atheists, at least. Uh, well, the, the Satanists that yeah. came to committee are very sincere. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you, once you, you know, look into their, you know, what they're all about, their mm-hmm. tenets and, you know, what they believe, it, it's not anything that should be offending to anybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they're all about tolerance. They're all about, you know, understanding. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they they have, you know, an ethos and a background and, a, you know, f- for them, it's not a mythology. For them, it's a story that, you know, has understanding for them and has, you know, helps them place themselves mm-hmm. in, in, wor- in, in our world. Uh, you know, it's not for us to judge. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, w- that's not the test of yeah. whether or not we or me or you think it's a legitimate <clears throat> religion. No, uh, that's just the wrong road to go down. Well, in other states, I think in Iowa, I think Oklahoma, Satanists have had uh, uh, monuments funded for them on public lands, um, and mostly it's because in response to like some bills in in those states what, that would put like the Bill of Rights or not the Bill of Rights, but the Ten Commandments uh, somewhere or, or, or other religious Im- Christian uh, imagery. Uh, am, am I correct on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, and, and th- so that, I guess that's probably what kind of spar- sparked yeah. this uh, copycat, I guess, legislation. Then is in in Iowa, they did have some kind of you know piece of art or some kind of yeah. uh, you know I, I forget exactly what it was because it was destroyed uh, yeah. by an actual legislator, I think. Yeah, or, and uh, I think they were going to press charges against yeah, them or something. And, and it's going to be, it's probably going to get pushed all the way up to a hate crime because I mean they're not realizing that this is a religion, yeah. and he went after them for the fact that they were a religion that he didn't agree with. Uh, So, I mean, this is what Senator Hoffman is playing around with. Well, well, I mean, was there any any effort to try to communicate with with Hoffman or anybody is worried about that? Like the the easy solution to me, maybe, you know, I'm just a simple minded journalist. Uh, You know, the simple solution would be just don't allow religious imagery on public lands and i know some people get upset when they when they hear about when they hear that but there is supposed to be a separation of church and state um you know and nothing precludes you from going to church anywhere or worshiping you know your god your religion anywhere else but when you start to like in those other states if you start putting 10 commandment monuments or religious christian you know monuments places like that you kind of don't, you're kind of inviting this right yeah yeah well, and then he's it, it's I mean, it's not like he can't, the Senator Hoffman can't, uh, he can't be surprised that we're going to offer amendments, yeah. right? You know, that might as well just finish it all the way for him. You know, there's just no, you know, religious artifacts in government property at all. Yeah. And he's going to cry that we're attacking his religion, yeah. right? Like it's, that's totally predictable, mm-hmm. but he's literally trying to erase another religion mm-hmm. and then set the precedent that government can r- erase religions. Uh, so I mean, he, and, that, he, and, and uh, beyond the, you know, I, I know they were it was the butt of a lot of jokes on social media with it. But it, it, at the end of the day, it's a serious subject that you're you're getting at here. It's like you don't want to set these kinds of precedents um, when it comes to religion, yeah. any religion. Yeah, I mean, and it's really easy to look at this committee and think of it as just theater. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, you know, you asked earlier if, if other, you know, call, my, my colleagues, you know, how they respond to this kind of stuff. You, 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 I mean, they don't really give me a lot of the really insider, you know, the, yeah. Uh, comments kind of thing, but you can tell, and they're really public about it and how they will end committee with their votes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you, you, you can tell when they say something about like how, you know, I'm going to get this out of committee, but you know, well, I'm going to think about it some more before I get to the floor. Mm-hmm. And like, it is a nice way of saying like, yeah, we're going to move this along, but you know, this is done. This is, it ends here. Nobody said that in committee for this bill. Yeah. Everybody was doubling down. Mm. It got contentious. Go far enough. It got contentious too. Maybe take us through a little bit of that because I know that Jake Hoffman, Senator Hoffman, was yelling at the Satanists who showed up to that committee. Uh, you know, and obviously, like you know, you, you know, they they were making certain points and kind of trolling the, the committee as well at certain points when they were like, you know, in their test of uh, testimony or even by saying, you know, hail Satan, <laughs> things like that. But like, you know, it got really contentious because, like, you know, Hoffman was yelling at them. Senator Rogers was yelling at people. Well, what was going on? Yeah. So that is also a a new trend that it's that, that's coming up. I mean, this is my twelfth year that mm-hmm. I've been in in session. And never have I seen chairs that act the way that Se- Senator Rogers and Senator Hoffman do. Uh, they're literally attacking the public who, who comes to us. Mm-hmm. And in a very undemocratic way, uh, they will chastise people. They will, uh, they will, they take it upon themselves. Like if they have some kind of special authority to cross examine mm-hmm. a person from the public, uh, to question a person's authority, uh, credibility, uh, so people's intelligence constantly, they're questioning the public's intel- intelligence. Mm-hmm. Uh, they bel- belittle them. Uh, and it's all you can tell. Like, it's not a, uh, I mean, like I'm sitting right there next to them. It's entirely fueled by insecurities. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they don't, they're not insecure in what they're doing and what they're presenting and their arguments they're, that they're making. Uh, so that anybody who questions, you know, their, the, the little commercial that they're trying to make mm-hmm. ha- has to be put down and attacked. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and it's sick. I mean, and, and it started bleeding over. I mean, they're, they're treating us, uh, other senators mm-hmm. with t- in t- total disrespect. Uh, I mean, to where we got to like start calling them out. I will literally have to, uh, w- every, uh, pretty much every committee, I have to request for the rules attorney mm-hmm. to come in and join us. Mm-hmm. Like literally asking for an adult to sit down in the room and stare at them mm-hmm. to keep them in line. Wow, uh, it, it should be insulting for everybody. Yeah. Well, in 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 to, in to that, to you know, to that point, I mean, you kind of, I don't know if it's a lack of a better term, but kind of trolled them ahead of time because you know if you're not familiar with the way that the Capitol works, all uh, lawmakers, senators, uh, representatives who are in the House, uh, before, when they gavel in for a session for the day, they're all given points of personal privilege. You get you get a minute to say whatever you want to want, want to say, introduce guests. Uh, in in the gallery that are there, you, you brought the Satanists. <laughs> well, so they were already there, and they came they came to committee to defend you yeah. know the, their their religion, and and uh, that we spend so much time introducing yeah. the public, and I, and I get it as a it, it, it's a part of the process. I mean, you, you shouldn't come down to the legislature without being acknowledged mm-hmm. for coming down here, I and mean, people are coming from all over all over the state, uh, and so you know I gave them the same courtesy that we give mm-hmm. everybody else and just acknowledge them and welcome them to the Capitol. And you would not, I mean, I, I definitely understood what I was doing and yeah. I understood that the, you know, the, the I figured you was. knew exactly what was going on there. <laughs> I, I took a, I, I made sure I had a sentence or two as I was talking before I told them who it was mm-hmm. so that they were, they would listen. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as I told them who it was, they all got up and left. Like in another like show of you know disrespect, like they were children. Mm-hmm. Like they mm-hmm. got up and out of their seats and, and just left the floor. They couldn't be in the building with me introducing Satanists to the to the Capitol. Wow, uh, and 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 Republicans in the Senate went through, on their Twitter account really they they, they <laughs> clipped that video of you, and I think the <laughs> I think they wrote chilling, you know. Uh, you know, in your opinion, they, they don't have anything to fear from these folks, do they? No. Yeah. I mean, these are uh, these are so the, the people are so nice. They're mm-hmm. so uh, I mean, like in every other religion. I, I mean, like it, it, it doesn't they're no different than anybody else. They just mm-hmm. have a different story that mm-hmm. they believe in. Uh, it, they're they're just like your family. Yeah. And and, they, and to be fair too, they were getting frustrated. You could tell during the committee hearing. I mean, you could see them in the back. 
you know, throwing up the metal signs or the, well, they, the, the they were know. being uh, they were being policed. They mm-hmm. were being told that they couldn't uh, react. And, and you know, it's one thing to to not have to make you know to ask somebody to not make noise to not no. like clap, and that that's to- totally understandable. They were getting mad that the senators, the Republican senators, were getting mad at the public because they were responding visually. Uh, you, uh, you know, their faces yeah. were responding to their outlandish arguments to their outlandish claims and and they were you know they almost kicked a reporter out because he couldn't believe what what they were saying oh yeah 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 i i do, I do remember that what was the reporter doing yeah uh, he 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 just responded with his eyes you know like his eyes flashed up and he like gasped oh good Lord. Uh, and, and they were ready to kick him out <laughs> oh, man. um so, uh, you know, I, I think this bill is going to be voted on. What is it going to be? Is it going to be voted on the floor soon? Do you, it, you expect or you expect it just kind of go away? Well, we'll wait. The, the first uh, hurdle or real uh, evidence will yeah. be if it gets put on a caucus calendar. Okay. Right. And so that I would check, I think, like every Tuesday. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, you know, we have until now, until the end of session, that they could bring this, bring this bill to, to the floor. Uh, so after we caucus it, then it would be eligible for a floor vote but i mean the when the satanists in their community came to me and told me you know hey this is ha- happening why is this happening how do we prepare for this uh i, I let them know that we have to kind of create the environment to where you know this is it's one thing for senator hoffman who's in control of this committee you know to to do this to mm-hmm. this committee but Senator Peterson, the president of the uh, of the, the the Republican Senate, he has some kind of you know he's supposed to be like their adult mm-hmm. to them. You know he he should be able to stop this from going for, further. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so the you know the, you know the more that these articles and you know these this podcast and this kind of stuff, the more people are talking about it and understanding how outlandish this is. And I mean we could stop it from going forward. It, mm-hmm. It's the kind of thing that they don't want to be connected to. You would you would hope. It's, but, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Like, you know, I didn't expect, I didn't know, you know, what to expect out of, you know, talking to you about this, but I get the sense, like, this bill that's gotten some attention because, you know, you know, for numerous reasons, like, you know, kind of pretends that what the, the reactions you're saying paints, it, it points to a, a bigger issue there about just a lack of, you're seeing a decline and a lack of decorum that you're seeing from lawmakers who control these positions over the 12 years you've been down to the yeah, legislature. It's, it's gotten, I mean, everybody jokes about mm-hmm. how, you know, politicians are children, mm-hmm. uh, but to these last two, four years that I've had to work with Hoffman, Senator Hoffman and Senator Rogers, it is, it, it's totally night and day compared yeah. to 10 years ago. But, I mean, you're not new, it's, this isn't, you're not new to, to controversy on there. I mean, I remember probably around the time you first got to the, the legislature, um, you, you know, you, you let it be known that you were an avowed atheist. And, you, you know, uh, when you were given an opportunity to, you know, start the session with a prayer, which is typically somebody offers up a prayer, you gave an, an atheist uh, invocation. invocation. Yeah, yeah. And that was a whole mess. Yeah. It, well, and it was so that was the beginning of it. Right. Like that was me. You know, they would see it as me attacking them or chipping away at their customs kind of mm-hmm. thing. But all I tried to do was authentically present myself mm-hmm. in their world. Mm-hmm. You know, they and they forced me to do a prayer. Yeah. Uh, I avoided it for for that whole session, and, and they they like in, almost in a bullying way made me give a prayer. So if they were going to make me give a prayer, I was going to give. Do you the, feel like my style? Do you it. feel they wanted you to do that so they can make an issue out of your atheism? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. They wow. they were trolling yeah. me from yeah. from the beginning, uh, and so you know because they, they, they were ready, they were mm-hmm. ready. They had a substitute prayer. <laughs> They had another Republican who was just ready, waiting for Didn't me. They had clergy to... on the floor, if I remember, because yeah, yeah. I was—I I used to be on the floor every day back then. And I think they had clergy on the floor at the press table that yeah. day. So they were looking to make an example of me. You know, like if I'm gonna, if I, an atheist is gonna make it all the way up here, he's gonna not like it being in in office. Kind yeah. of thing. Uh, and you know, they've they've constantly. If it's not me, it's it was uh, Representative Salmon that they were constantly b- b- belittling. Uh, I mean, like if you just don't acknowledge God or mm-hmm. their their God, mm-hmm. you know, they flip out. I mean, like because uh, what was it? Uh, Kavanaugh went out of his way after uh, Representative Salmon gave one of her invocations mm-hmm. to to introduce God in the go- in the gallery because he was offended that that we had not acknowledged him in the, <laughs> in the invocation. So, uh, I, I mean. 
it, it, it's it's like a, it just goes back to the idea like it's too easy to think that this is just part of them you know like this is just the way they act but they mm-hmm. know what they're doing you know like they're trying to if it's not uh bully you know they, they're trying to set an example like they it's yeah, it, it, it's, it's just crazy. Well, I want to thank you very much for stopping by here, talking a little bit about this, about this, and about your history down at the Capitol. Because, again, this isn't something new for you. You've been been doing this here for a while. But uh, you know, we just want to wrap up here real quick with the interview. I mean, what's your takeaway from from the event? So, they, they, this latest um, situation. What's your what's your takeaway from it? What you know? Uh, what are you telling your constituents? I, well, I mean, that they got to pay attention, you know, mm-hmm. that they got to, it, it's way too easy to think that a group of Satanists, you know, are are not, uh, are just not something to worry about, mm-hmm. you know, that they can be abused by government this way. Uh, and, and that's just not fair. And, but at the same time, that's a dangerous, that's, that's not a slippery slope. Like that is the beginning mm-hmm. of how you start really going after other minorities and groups of people. Uh, and and this is this should be like the warning for everybody. You know, like this if they, if this stands, if they let this kind of uh, abuse stand, not just to the constitution and, and not just to a minority religion. Uh, you, you know that th- this is. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg mm-hmm. kind of thing. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks very much for stopping by here. I really appreciated the conversation. And, um, you know, we'll see you next time. You're always welcome to be back yeah. here. And uh, when we come back, I'll be joined by Colin. We'll have some uh, interesting tips for us, and I'll explain on the other side. Thanks. All right, and now we are back joined by Colin for this edition of Politics Unplugged yeah, podcast. Yeah, uh, man, a lot of a lot of Satan talk. It just yes. uh, you, you know, just get your thoughts, impressions on on on, on some of that that's happened this past week. I mean. You know, what were your takeaway from, you know, Mendez's, uh, the senator's comments? Because, again, it seems like, yeah, we can, like, talk about this bill and this weird, you know, committee hearing that just kind of went off the rails. But he's pointing to larger trends. Yes. I mean, of all the absurdity through the whole thing, the, mm-hmm. the, the testimony and the the rancor back and forth, my favorite moment was just Wendy Rogers yelling at someone, you can roll your eyes in the back of the room, <laughs> madam. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can't sit through a legislative hearing and roll your eyes at some point, well, I mean, this is America, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> dude, it's America, man. <laughs> I mean, how do you? How can you not roll your eyes at some point? And my God, it's a hearing on Satanism. It's yes, <laughs> yes. It was, I, you know, it was absurd. Yeah, the whole and, thing. Yeah. The top to bottom, it was, um, and like, I mean, it's blatantly unconstitutional, blatantly unconstitutional. So it's just theater and they have to know it's unconstitutional and maybe that's the whole point. Yeah. And they have to know that there's no way the governor signs this. No, no. you know, but they, they go up there and they make the theater and it works. We're talking about it right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was absurd. All right. Well, sticking with the Satanist theme, yeah. um, you know, uh, Colin dug up some interest, something, some interesting documents. I want you yeah. to kind of explain what so, these are. Yeah. It's, it, it really takes me back to the Tipper Gore PMRC days. Yeah. I, I don't know why I had this, but my um, my mom was going through the house cleaning stuff up and sent me a box of my stuff that was still laying around the house. From wow. Me. When I was a kid, and it includes this, the Back in Control Training Center presents Spikes and Studs, an all-day conference on heavy metal and punk and their influence on children. So this was like <laughs> midst of the whole mid-80s satanic panic. Oh, my God, my kid bought something that has leather on it. How do I deprogram him? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you bought leather and they put studs on it, they were oh, Satanists, yeah. right? Well, clearly, yes. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're Let, let's take, of... take us through this amazing yeah. program. So it's a, um, this is the, I don't know, this is only like three pages. I, I just did a quick Google on them. And apparently, they had a whole 30-page handbook and did things on how to deprogram your kids who have uh, who need to depunk or demetal. Oh, wow. Um they have a list of the the heavy metal bands to to watch out for there and they have them broken up into hardcore metal pop metal lightweight metal punk rock heavy metal or speed metal and black metal satanic 
So that's where you get, you know, the, the, all those Satan worshipers like Dio and Iron Maiden and Venom and Wasp. Well, and, uh, isn't there an asterisk by the by or asterisk? Well, these these are all these are the black metal satanic. Yeah. So yes, in the other in the other there's an asterisk. So they throw an asterisk next to the ones that are involved in the occult. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, Ju- that would be Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, Merciful Fate, Motley Crue, and Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. It, it, it. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, under hardcore metal, they have ACDC, which in parentheses they put Antichrist, Devil, Children. Wow. Yeah. Um, they don't get the names right on a lot of these. Under punk rock, heavy metal, or speed metal, they have Husker Do. It's Husker Do. It's Husker Do. Yeah. And uh, I don't think so. What you're saying? What anyone you're, really needed to so be too what, so what about you're Husker saying Do. is, is that the What's the name of this group the again? Back in, con- back back in, in control, control Training Center. Center. What they needed was a good editor. Yeah, yeah. You um, know, um, but like you know, we were joking about this earlier too. Um, that the list of bands there would have been a pretty good festival back have, in the yeah. day. I would have yeah. went to this. Yeah, um, they have. Uh, they have a li- I mean, this was from Southern California. Yeah. Um, so they had a list of heavy metal nightclubs and hangouts to worry about, including the Troubadour, <laughs> the Troubadour. <laughs> in Los Angeles, which is like classic yeah. club in L.A. It's not, ex- you know, the Roxy and the Rainbow Bar and Grill were also on there. Oh, man. Like, I, I highly encourage anybody, if you ever get the chance, like stop by the Rainbow Bar and Grill, gra- grab yourself a beer and, and something to eat there. It's, it's pretty great. Yeah. Then uh, they also went after punk with a um, big long list of punk bands to look out for. Um, I was I was amused to see uh, one of them was and I'm looking for uh, yeah Agent Orange. Watch out for that Agent Orange. Yeah, um, the drummer from Agent Orange worked at my orthodontist's office when I was a kid. <laughs> His mom was the receptionist. How did you ever survive, and Colin? And he made the little molds. How, how did your mom ever survive? And, yeah, and I was, um, I so, was, what was sort the... of jealous because he had a really cool scooter he parked in front. He had like the full on mm-hmm. mod scooter with all the lights, and oh, and stuff. Okay, okay. Um, so, so what was the purpose of this whole thing? Does it explain in in here? Well, it, it's uh, a little bit. Devo is one of the punk bands listed. Huh? All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, e- it's that you should be terrified if your kid is a um, heavy meddler, as they call them, All right. or a punker, and um, they probably need to be depunked or demetaled, <laughs> so they can. And that's that's a quote, because I'm looking at the rules to depunk or demetal. Oh, what what are the rules? Number one, not to dress in any style that represents punk rock or heavy metal. Two, not to wear hair, dye or cut, in any style that represents punk rock or heavy metal. Three, not to associate with known punk rockers or heavy metalers. I'm sure they had a list somewhere. Uh, Four, not to wear any punk rock or heavy metal accessories, earrings or jewelry, spikes or studs. Number five, not to frequent any place where punk rock or heavy metal is main interest. Number six, not to listen to punk rock or heavy metal music. Number seven, not to write or draw punk rock or heavy metal. Eight, not to possess or display any punk rock or heavy metal material or posters. Nine, not to tattoo, cut, harm, or injure self in any way. And number 10, to keep parents informed of whereabouts at all times. Wow. They also gave you the uh, terminology to watch out for. What's your favorite term? Um, I mean, just the fact that they said gigs. Gigs are a place where punk rockers go to see a band play. <laughs> <laughs> also, that, this was helpful. Wankers. Oh, that's, that's English. A, that's a punk term for a jerk. That's that's English though. It's an English guess, thing. It's a, yeah. I guess a wanker would be a jerk. Yeah. Well, there's a lot. There's, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's there's definitely some definitions of yeah. what a wanker is. Yeah. 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 So yeah, this was fun. I, again, I don't know why I had this apart from this group was in my hometown, but I had. Yeah. It I don't, I I don't know school. what was more amazing that you still had that, and like b- yes. begs the question: Why did you have that in the first place? I don't know. I'm sure it was probably just because you found it funny. Yes. No. Yeah. I it mean, wasn't. I was not. Uh, <clears throat> I was not worried about these things, nor were my parents particularly worried about these things. So it wasn't like uh, we were. And so. Because, like, the first time I ever went to the state capitol, like, this is a big thing back in the 80s and early 90s, like, right? First time I ever went to the state capitol was there was, the uh, like, a PMRC bill 
Yeah. Where they wanted to, you know, ban sell- sales of like certain records, you know, or label them and all that other kinds yeah. of stuff. And it was at the state legislature. And I went to, it was a, I want to say it was at, at, at a place in Tempe called the Asylum. And I went to a show there. There was a, I think a speed metal thrash show or something. And they had talking about how this thing was going to be happening next week and for everybody to show up. We're like, yeah, man, we're going to show up. And we did. We, 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 we broke out of school early. We drove down to the Capitol for this hearing. And it was just overrun by, like, metalheads and skaters and punk rockers and stuff like that. And they were talking about this. And um, um, Donny Osmond showed, showed up <laughs> to testify against this bill. And I remember it was when Donny Osmond was trying to change his image as a goody two-shoes. Yeah. And he was trying to bite it off of George Michael style. And he showed up dressed just like George Mike. He had the st- <laughs> stubbly beard, you know, the leather jacket on. Um, and when it was like shortly before, or right after he, uh, you know, quote unquote, got busted doing drugs, which was like, <laughs> he, he probably, probably bought a dime bag of like really crap weed and called yeah. the cops on himself yeah. so he could like yeah. dirty for up his rep cred. for the for street, street cred. Street I don't know. <laughs> but, but, but the one thing I do remember, and one of the other things I do remember was this would be years before, but, uh, a member on that committee was one Janice Brewer. Oh, nice. Years before she would be our governor and I would go round and round with her. Yeah. But anyway, but yeah, this stuff was like all over the place. And it was like the first time I ever went to the Capitol was this kind of garbage. And nationally, when they had the big PMRC push and it was spearheaded by Tipper Gore, mm-hmm. Al's wife, mm-hmm. um, they had the hearings in Congress and they had some big names come out to testify <laughs> yeah. against it. Yeah, D. Schneider is like it was like legend, one. legendary testimony. Yes, and and Frank Zappa was there, mm-hmm. but I think the one that was probably jarring to a lot of them was John Denver was also there speaking out against it. Oh yeah, um, they had no idea what Rocky Mountain High was really about. <laughs> Boy, were yes. they shocked! <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, I, I mean, his image was at the time relatively squeaky clean and yeah. I, I don't think they necessarily thought they'd be getting the john denvers of the world yeah well at, at that point i think john denver was doing those movies uh oh god oh god yeah. you devil or whatever yeah. with george burns and yeah. whatnot i had this really squeaky clean image but like yeah you know, go look at his lyrics man like my, rocky yeah. mountain high isn't about yeah, it's like not uh, altitude it's not altitude baby <laughs> <laughs> yeah those are fun days anytime you can get d snyder yeah, yeah, it's always, it, yeah, it, oh, God. yeah, it's always, it, it's always like, it's funny because, you know, it's just one of those things, you, there's always this effort to scare parents about their kids and scare the public about the kids, you know, and, I, you know, I kind of, I kind of worry we're kind of in the middle of, of, of seeing that here locally again with all this stuff about teen violence yeah. in the media, not just us, but everybody, everything's teen violence now. And I'm like, is there, you know, other than some high profile cases in the East Valley, I you know, don't want to get into it, to the details of that. Right. Is there any indication that there's been a rise in teen violence? Right. It, it all reminds me of the, the yes. summer of the shark. Yeah. When all we were covering was shark attacks all over the place and it was the summer <laughs> of the shark. And then at the end of the year, we looked back and went, huh. Turns out shark attacks were down this year. <laughs> down by a lot, actually. <laughs> like, if you report on all of them, it looks like a lot. But you know, yeah, they don't happen that often, and people go. Oh, yeah. Well, then, you, but if you're if you're smart and you defend yourself, they're down because we were reporting on them. <laughs> could be. <laughs> that could be. People <laughs> stayed away from the sharks because of our reporting. Well, or sharks are just very PR conscious. Yes. <laughs> The sharks realized they had to lay low for a while. They hired a good PR yeah. firm. They'd the firm the says line. the firm says like, look, look, you, you already got a bad rap. Yeah. I, the, the thing for you to do is just sit tight, be quiet. <laughs> yes, they brought in the emergency management experts to <laughs> say, look, man, that last surfer crossed the line. Just hang out in the coral for a while. Don't eat a surfer. We'll get through this. <laughs> We'll bring Go, back like reruns of Jabberjaw. Yeah, try and bring like, up your image look, there's plenty bit. of seals out you out there for you to go after. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. The people like seals, but not that much. So go ahead. <laughs> Just don't do it in public because people, they're ki- kind of cute. Yeah, no one wants to watch you eat a seal. It's just oh, do your thing. Don't eat the surfer. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's just funny how it, it just is always like that kind of constant thing. But in, in the eighties, some of the nineties was all about music lyrics and how it's going to yeah. ruin your kids. You know, went from like metal as part of the occult and punk and then, you know, rap lyrics. Rap. Yeah. You know, it's, it's always something. And, you know, now, you know, now, you, you know, the stuff with teen violence now, I wish someone would go in and look and find, figure out if we can even tell if there's a rise in teen yes. violence and compare to what, right. You know, we were all teenagers once. I promise you I was at one time. Um, you know, it was, there were, there were fights back then. Yeah. You know, you grew up in, 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 in laid back California, man, but I'm sure there were violence back then with sure. teens when you were yeah, a teenager. There were the occasional fights. And honestly, my, uh, my youngest, who's, I mean, I'm a freshman in college now mm-hmm. mentioned me the other day. He'd never actually seen a fight. We were going to a hockey game. He's like, yeah, maybe I'll see a fight. I've never seen one. I mean, like at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, good Lord. So, I, you know anecdotal at best but would also suggest that teen violence may not be so wildly rampant that everyone's at risk because he's never even seen a fight <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know it's just like it, it needs to be a little bit of uh, some self-control on that but that, yeah. now that we've gotten that off our chest and I, yeah. I did love and we have talked about that and i do love the comparison to the summer of the shark because that is the kind of thing we get sucked up into all this yeah I mean, collectively the media the public and all this stuff like it's time to take a step back and obviously we're talking about the high profile stuff out in Gilbert. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's terrible. You got a, you got a dead kid out there. Yes. It's terrible. And I've seen the videos. The videos are terrible. They're and awful. Ridiculous. And yeah. Um, and the, the question is about, well, it's parental guidance and also what are we police doing? Yeah, well, and that's my question. If we make this real political for a second, we know that the mayor of Gilbert is not running for re-election. Yeah. I mean, my question for all of them in the council, like, you know... God, if only I knew a journalist, <laughs> you know, it was like, go, go out there and question because they voted to study teen violence, correct? Yeah. yeah. Like I would ask yeah. them, okay, why did you vote to study teen violence instead of do something about it? Yeah. Like, you know, find out where, you, where your police force was. And I'm not blaming them. I don't, I don't know whether they did a good job or a bad job, but go find out. Yeah. But they were not able to piece together what a reporter. Yeah. When well, Robert Anglin over at the Republican, great job. Yeah. Yeah. Great job, Robert. I mean, in the Republic out there, just put p- piecing that together. Pretty simple. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it would have been that hard. You know, if, if particularly if, when so many of them are at the same uh, fast food joint. Yeah. I, I, I just, mean, again, I kind of felt like a pattern there. Yeah, just kind of stunned that, you know, and, and, and look, in, 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 I don't report on this stuff, so I'm a little bit arm's length distance, but in politics, when you want to ignore something or make it disappear, you throw it to a study committee. Yeah. That's what happens in politics yeah. all the time. Yes. Like what's going to happen after they studied teen violence for a while? Like they come out and make a big pronouncement. We found out it exists. Bad. Yeah. It exists. It's bad. Yeah. We or, should do something. Or it's like shark attacks. It wasn't as bad as we thought. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now that we've you know, officially probably gotten ourselves into a, uh, into some trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, probably end it there. <laughs> we should probably end it right here. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us. Um, we look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, in, maybe Satan comes up again. Yeah. I, I don't know. You know, go m- listen to some Husker Doe. <laughs> Husker Doe. <laughs> or Antichrist and, and Devil I'll, I'll be pushing uh, Colin to somehow get these documents and maybe tweet them out. All right. I'll see if I can do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see you next week. See you. Thanks for listening. You can subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, the Google Store, or anywhere else you get your podcasts. See you next time.